in this video we are going to talk about calculus 1 we are going to discuss about chapter number 1 the title of the chapter number 1 is limits and continuity in this chapter i am going to explain to you four concepts limit of a function limit loss continuity and limits involving infinity let us begin with section number 1.1 .1, the limit of a function so what is a limit Understanding the concept of limit is very essential in calculus and other branches of mathematics. We define the limit of a function f of x as limit x approaches a f of x equal to l. This arrow indicate the value of x approaches the point a but remember it is not equal to a it is very close to a. And also remember the limit of a function is nothing but its y value. There are two kinds of one sided limits are exist. One is called left handed limit. The other one is called right handed limit. To indicate the left handed limit we are using a minus symbol over here. To indicate the right handed limit we are using a plus symbol over here. So if I say a minus that means the value x approaches a from the left side if i say a plus x approaches the value towards right hand side or positive side in any problem if the left hand limit value is equal to the right hand limit value then we say limit exists if the values of left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal then we say the limit does not exist to denote does not exist we generally written as DNE that is does not exist. Let us discuss our first problem. Evaluate limit x approaches 4 square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 using a table of functional values. So since we are requiring a table let me construct a table which contains four columns x in the first column f of x in the second column Again, we are writing x in the third column, f of x in the fourth column. In the previous slide, I explained that when a limit exists, then it should be the left hand limit equal to the right hand limit. So let us begin with the first column. So since the values are approaching very close to 4 and we are coming from left side, we begin the value with 3.9. By substituting 3.9 in the function, you will get this value then by substituting the next value 3.99 in the function you will get this value similarly let me substitute 3.9999 3.9999 and so on then for the right hand limit we are taking values which are very close to 4 from the right side so let us begin with 4.1 once again substitute 4.1 in the function so wherever you have x replace all the x value by 4.1 that will give you 0 0.24845673 similarly by substituting the next values 4.01 4.001 and other things you will get the last column values if you see the second column all the values are approaching the value 0 0.25 okay so i have concluded that the left hand limit is equal to 0 0.25. If you see the right hand limit, all the values again they are approaching towards 0 0.25. For example, first one 0 0.248, 0 0.249, 0 0.2499, 0 0.24999, 0 0.24 everything right. So these column also they are approaching towards the value 0 0.25. So we have concluded that the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit both are approaching the value 0 0.25 so i say the limit of the function x square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 that is also equal to 0 0.25 in our second problem we have a function the first one x plus 1 when x is less than 2 the second one f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 when x is greater than or equal to 2 then we are asking to calculate limit x approaches 2 minus f of x, limit x approaches 2 plus f of x 
and limit x approaches to of f of x. Once again, we have to apply the left hand limit, right hand limit concept. For subdivision number one, we are using the left hand limit. Since the indication of minus sign, we are taking the first function value that is x plus one because this is defined when x is less than two. So after taking x plus one, replace x equal to two that will give you three. Then for the second one, we have to approach two from the right side. So it is a right under limit. So let me take the second function that is x squared minus four. Again, by replacing x equal to two here, that will give you zero. Since you notice the left hand limit not equal to right hand limit, we have concluded that the third one that is limit x approaching two f of x does not exist. Because left hand limit not equal to right hand limit. Sometimes we have given a graph using the graph. They will ask you some limit problem or some values of the function. So let us see this one. We have a graph over here. If you see the first question, we are asking to calculate limit x approaches minus 5 from the left side. So this is my minus 5, right? So as you see minus 5, so make one vertical line towards minus 5. Since this is minus 5 from the left side, we are reaching minus 5 from here slowly, slowly, slowly and you are reaching minus 5. In the first slide, I told you always the y value is the limit value. So after reaching 5, if you see this one, the y value is 2. So I concluded that the limit for minus 5 approaching left side will be 2. Okay. Then if you see the second one, that is minus 5 plus so again, take minus 5. Now minus 5, we are approaching from the right side. If you reach right side, after reaching this point, see the y value. The corresponding y value is 2. So we say that the answer for question number 2 also 2. Since this is my left hand limit and this is my right hand limit, I have concluded that the limit for x approaching the value minus 5 is also equal to Okay, for question number 4, they are asking function at the point minus 5. So this is minus 5. Since we are looking for functional value, if you go up, you can see a dark circle here, a black dark circle. After reaching black dark circle, you have to see the corresponding y value. So that means 1. Okay, so the answer is 1. Similarly, we can check number 5 and we found that the value is minus 1. For question number 6, the value is 4. Since these two values are not equal, we say when limit x approaching minus 2 does not exist. And for the last one, we are looking for f of minus 2. As I explained before, take minus 2, go up, you will see a dark circle. After reaching dark circle, see the y value. It is 2. So I have Conclude that f of minus 2 equal to 2. Okay, now let us move to section number 1.2. It's called limit laws. So these are the laws, some law for limits, difference law for limits, and so on. So have a look. Using these ideas, we are going to solve some problems. And this is an important note. When limit x approaches a, x is equal to a. Whereas when limit x approaching a, if I have a constant here, then the answer is the same constant. There are four methods we are going to discuss. In method number one, it is a direct method or I can say it is a substitution method. If you see example number four, it is very easy. We are going to calculate limit x approaching minus two. So let me substitute minus two in the place of x, minus two in the place of x. Then if I simplify, I will get minus seven. Same idea for question number 5, limit x approaching minus 1 and this is my function. So wherever you have x, replace all the values of x by minus 1 in the function. And if you simplify, that will give you the answer of the answer for the problem. Let us discuss method number 2. Sometimes you have common factors in the numerator and denominator. 
So before substituting the limit, you need to cancel the common factor, then substitute x value in the function. If you see example number 6, it is very easy. We have x minus 7 up and x minus 7 down. If I cancel both x minus 7, then we have left with x plus 3. Replacing x by 7, we will get 10 as the answer. Sometimes you need to factor the expression. Say for example, in example 7, you have x squared minus x minus 12. Okay. In lower classes, we have learned how we can factor a quadratic equation by applying the quadratic uh, I mean by finding the factor for the quadratic equation we have x minus 4 x plus 3 by x plus 3 if I cancel x plus 3 up and down we have left with x minus 4 replace x by minus 3 will give you minus 7. The third method sometimes we need to expand the given problem and simplify. So as usual first step we have to replace x value as you see here x value is 1. So what I do, I have to substitute x value equal to 1 in the problem by using our substitution method. If you get answer, it's fine. Sometimes you will get 0 in the numerator, 0 in the denominator. So if you have this form, then we need to expand the given function and simplify. So here I'm going to apply a plus b the whole squared idea. So the given expression x plus 2 the whole squared this will become like this x squared plus 4x plus 4 then plus 4 minus 4 I can cancel we have left with x squared plus 4x upon x plus 4 then from the numerator if I take x as a common term or common factor then we have x times x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 cancelling x plus 4 up and down we have left with x if I replace x equal to 1 you will get 1. So this question we no need to expand because we are getting the answer. Sometimes, as I explained before, if you don't get the answer and if you are getting like 0 by 0, then you have to expand and simplify. Let us move to method number 4. Sometimes we need to do the problem in which we have square root. So as you see here, evaluate limit x approaches 9, square root of x minus 3 divided by x minus 9. If I substitute x equal to 9, then we will get 0 by 0, 0 in the numerator, 0 in the denominator. So we are going to use the concept of conjugate. So by multiplying the given expression by the conjugate, we are getting this one. Then we have to multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Since the numerator in the form of a minus b and a plus b, we are using the idea a power 2 minus b power 2. So I will get root x the whole squared minus 3 power 2 in the numerator. Then we know that root x power 2 is nothing but x and 3 power 2 is 9. So we have a common factor x minus 9 up and down. By cancelling the common factor, we have 1 by root x plus 3. Now we replace x by 9. We have 1 by root 9 plus 3. By simplifying this, we have concluded that limit of the given function is 1 by 6. Okay. So these are the concepts in section 1.1 and 1.2. Let me give you some exercise problems. Try yourself. I have also given the answers. So before seeing the answer, try yourself and then check with the answer. See you in the next video.